हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू डिजिटल डोर वे यूट्यूब चैनल वन ऑफ माय यूट्यूब सब्सक्राइबर नेम मयंक हैड आस्ट मी अ क्वेश्चन ऑन हाउ ही कैन सेंड ऑटोमेटेड ईमेल्स टू हिज एम्प्लॉज ऑन देयर बर्थडेज सो आई एम गोना शो यू दिस यूजिंग द हबस्पॉट्स ऑटोमेशन टूल सो लेट्स डाइव इन टू हबस्पॉट डैशबोर्ड हेयर आई एम इन माई डैशबोर्ड एंड आई क्लिक ऑन ऑटोमेशन एंड देन चूज वर्क फ्लोज नाउ दीज आर ऑल माई ऑटोमेशंस I'm going to create a workflow over here, and uh, as usual, HubSpot has pre predefined templates over here. So all of these are predefined templates which they have kept, which are very good, very good to use. So I'm going to click on Scratch from Scratch, Contact Base, and I'm going to choose this one: Center on a Date property. Okay, there are three options over here: Start from Scratch, Center on a Date. now center on a date would mean that you know if there are 100 employees then you cannot be doing this using this action every time you want to send an email so i'm going to center on a date property i'm going to choose the date property over here you got so many of them already by hubspot and whatever you create as a uh, action or a date property i'm going to choose date of birth which is here i'm going to name the workflow internal okay employee email birth day okay click next now here automatically there are three actions in this workflow so let's see the first one and the first one we need to set the trigger i click over here to set the trigger i'm going to click contact properties because this is based on a contact and again i'm going to click on choose date of birth and date of birth is known because when you are before you create this workflow you would need to upload a list of your employees with their names with their first name last name designation if you want and date of birth because you want to send this based on their date of birth either on the same day or one day before whatever you want to set up but this action or this workflow is based out of on the birthday so you need to make sure that you upload that list and it has to be a static list so that you keep adding any new employees that you keep coming right if anybody joins your uh, your company after one year or six months down the line then you can add that employee to that list automatically so i'm going to click here date of birth is is known apply filter and i'm going to click on the and action over here and the that you are sending this to your list of employees right so you have to choose the list so for for the sake of the, this video i'm going to click on this one this list so date of birth is known and that contact is in this list so i'm going to save this so this is the trigger moving ahead we have specify a date click on the pencil icon and you need to choose recur annually because you want this action or you want this workflow to fire every year recur annually on date of birth save third one is the timing and the scheduling so when will the action uh, when will the next action execute so again before his his or her birthday on or after so if you want to choose one day before the birthday you want to send an a, a greeting one day before then you can you know come over here and three days before or four days before whatever whenever you want to send and you can also choose the timing so if you want to send on the date of birth then click on on and choose the timing for example if the office opens at 9 am so you want to send him at 9:30 let's say choose 930 this is the time to execute on the date of birth click save now you have set all the three triggers and the actions to activate or run this workflow enrollment trigger is date of birth is known and list membership whichever list you want to choose you can go ahead and choose that list specify a date the workflow is centered on the date of birth and it recurs annually and delay scheduling and timing so you want to action this is the action okay now you want to attach an email over here 
because after all of these actions are met then you want an email to be sent out click on send email and it'll ask you for which email you want to uh, send so you have to create an automated email before you send this so let me just show you how you can do that again I'm going back to I'm going to duplicate this uh, this tab okay I'm going to go back under marketing you'll find email and I'm going to create an email now you'll find three options over here regular automated or blog so you got to choose automated because you want to send based on a workflow see it shows over here create a personalized automated email that sent out to contacts when they trigger a workflow so because this is trigger, triggered out of a workflow you need to choose automated again you will be shown two options these are the regular templates which HubSpot has these are the old ones they have recently created uh, a drag and drop new option which has some predefined beautiful templates you want you want to look for birthday over here if you can see find it so this is the this is the birthday template which they have you're free to choose this one or go with any other one that you want but because this is already added so I, I'll just preview it and I'm going to use this template so this new template you can add you know anything you want for example if you want to add an image over here so you add an image here okay I'm gonna delete this you you want to add a text or a button you want to claim a gift or whatever you have so you can do all of these things and in the send then you can just send this review and save it okay you got to save this one and coming back to the workflow you need to click over here and click on send email let's say I choose this one save so after all of these actions after the trigger and the actions are met then this email is sent out you got to come to settings and you can specify the time and I'm just going to keep any time because this is going to execute throughout the year you can associate the campaign and you can also add under more a description just so that you can remember in future I, I'll add this workflow is for company employees birthday okay it's a recurring workflow click on save and you just click on rev it's turned off so I'll just turn it on so as you can see this is created if I go back to edit go back to workflows this is turned off because I didn't turn it on over here it's still off so I just wanted to show you how you can do this I hope it's clear to you on how you can set up this employee email using the workflow feature in HubSpot so if there are any other questions do let me know oh, yes you asked me another question on uh, the CC to the HR so that's currently not possible in uh, uh, in HubSpot I think that's under still under development and should be rolled out in the coming few months so if you have any other questions to all my subscribers do let me know in the comment section and hit the like button and hit the subscribe to stay tuned for more such videos Thank you.